We stand here today, remember the dream. If you are a Tem, then we need some We stand here today, remember the drink. If you are a Tem. Shana Tova! Shana Tova! Today is Yom Kippur, the most special day of the whole year. The most specialist. Hi, I'm Callie. And I'm Shmulek. Hi, Shmulek. Hi, Callie. I haven't seen you in a year. It's been a long time. I know. Well, today is Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. Atonement means to say that we are sorry. Mm -hmm. This is a day when we say we are sorry for all the mistakes that we made in the past year. That's right. But Yom Kippur is also a day of at one -ment. We think to ourselves how we could make better choices in the year ahead. We try to remember that other people like our grandparents or our parents or our siblings or our friends or our teachers or our rabbis and our cantor help to guide us to do what's right. But we are the ones who have to decide and we control our actions. That is so true. I'm so glad we have this day to do this. And, um... But Shmulek, let me ask you a question. What have you, what you, what have you been up to for this past year? Oh well, I um, I went to school, mm -hmm. but I didn't go to school. I, I was on a computer the whole time, mm -hmm. and um, I saw my grandparents. Yay! But I didn't see my grandparents because they were on the screen the whole time, uh -huh. and um, mm -hmm. uh, I played with my friends outside a lot. Yeah, there was a lot of outside time. That is true. What about you, Callie? What did you do this year? Oh, pretty much the same. I was home. Um, and, uh, and we played outside and I went to the pool this summer, but now I, all I can think about is traveling. Oh, I would love to go to far off places like Athens or Columbus. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, I was thinking a little bit further, like maybe travel in outer space. Oh, that'd be cool too. You know, it makes me think about the fact that Jews all over the world today are doing the same kind of thing we're doing. Talking about what we did last summer? Well, yes, that, catching up with each other, yes. Mm -hmm. But also saying some of the same prayers we're going to say and getting a chance to say we're sorry. Oh, that's a great idea. I would love to see them do that and like be kind of like a fly on the wall. For all that. Yeah, let's go travel all over the world. What? We can and do, do that? our prayers, yes. Okay. Through the magic of the magic of the Imagination! Imagination! Wow, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. Yeah, like for the Bar Hu, we can imagine that we're in a sunrise because we rise for the Bar Hu. And it's our beginning to pray, just like the beginning of the day. It's our call to prayer, and it helps us focus our minds on the day and on being together. Wow, look. We zoom out and we look at the whole world. Wow, I'm in outer space. Woo! We can see, like the Shema says, that God is one, just like the whole world is one. We all live here together on this beautiful planet. And in this way, we all need each other to be caretakers and of the world and of each other. Wow! Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shekevon Malchuto, Le'olam Va'ed. And just like our rabbis teach us, the simplest prayer is often the one we say, thank you. We thank each other for the many different things, and we thank God for all the blessings in our lives. 
How many different ways can you think of to say thank you? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's some up there. Danke. Thank you. Merci. Grazie. So many different ways. Some people say thank you by bowing. Hmm. In our prayer, one way we say thank you is Baruch Ata Adonai. Thank you, God. a moment of peaceful silence and think about the places all over the world that might need peace, whether far away, across our own country, or even in our own homes and hearts. And we wish for everyone and everything a sense of peace, just like we see with these flowers right here. As you are quiet for the next few seconds, let's let peaceful pictures remind us of all the great peace that does exist in our world today and feel your hope and dream that this peace can spread to every part of the world that needs it, even in your own home. So everybody take a deep breath. <gasps> and we'll be quiet before we sing our song for peace. Oh, say. sorry to our family and our friends and also to God. We are sorry for the promises we did not keep. We are sorry for the mistakes we made. We are sorry for the times that we were selfish or stubborn. We are sorry for the things we took without asking permission. We're sorry for the times we didn't listen. We are sorry for saying things that made others feel sad. We're sorry for the times when we were angry or unkind to people that we love. We ask God to forgive us and give us the strength so that we can make better choices next time. We pray that in this new year, when we have the choice to do good, that we choose wisely. When we think about behaving badly, we pray that we will make a better decision. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, sometimes people don't always feel good. They might not feel good in their heart, they might not feel good in their mind, or they might not feel good in their body. And that time, when people aren't feeling good, it's important that we let them know we still care about them. And that's why we say the Mishaberach, to say we care about you and God cares about you. And we want you to know that so that you'll get better faster. I hope I have a special friend who will help me lead Mishaberach. Whoa.
imagine God as a loving mommy or daddy, loving us and helping us to know what is right. God is like that. God is always here with us and helps us to feel safe. And so we sing Avinu Malkinu, our loving parent. called the old country. What? So now we're traveling in time as well as space? Why not? I love it. Oh, hey, there's a new friend here. Oh, hello. His name is Fuzzy Fogtop. Fuzzy Fogtop. Fuzzy Fogtop. He's got a very interesting story. What's his story? Well, let's, let's hear it right now. Okay. Once upon a time, um, Fuzzy Fogtop couldn't remember anything. He was really absent-minded and he forgot almost everything as soon as it happened. In the morning, he woke up remembering absolutely nothing from the night before. I'm in bed, he called to his wife in the kitchen. So you are, she said. I can't find my clothes, he called back. Fanny, his wife, was really tired of helping Fuzzy. She had been doing it for years. Look for them yourself, she said. Fuzzy looked here, nothing. Fuzzy looked there, still nothing. He peered about the room for a long time. Were those his socks hanging halfway out the drawer? Was that his shirt crumpled on the floor? Ah. Fuzzy put his shirt and socks on, but the room felt drafty against his bare legs, his pants. Where were his pants? So many people have asked that question this year. I know. <laughs> Where were his shoes? I ask that every day. He pulled up the blinds so that he could see better. Oh, and there were his pants dangling on the strings. And there were his shoes on the windowsill. They smelled fresh as the morning. Dressed at last, Fuzzy went downstairs for breakfast. Here I am, he said. Do you know the time? Snarled Fanny. Fuzzy patted his stomach. I'm ready to eat, I know that. It's four in the afternoon, Fanny shouted. The eggs are hard as stones and the toast is black as tar. I like stone eggs, Fuzzy declared. And tar toast only makes them taste better. But Fanny had left the kitchen. Mm. Fuzzy went to talk about his problems with a friend. And his friend said, you should make a list every night. Write down where your hat is and where your shoes are, and where your shirt is everything. Don't leave out a single thing. 
That's a good idea, said Fuzzy. So before going to bed that night, Fuzzy wrote a long sheet of paper. My hat is on the sofa. My shirt and my jacket are in the closet. My pants are on the chair. My belt is on top of my pants. My socks are in my shoes. My shoes are under the sofa. To close, he added, I am in bed. Then Fuzzy went to sleep. Hmm. In the morning, he found a crumpled up slip of a paper in his hand. Who could have written it? Well, what luck, he said. Now I'll know all I need to know. He leapt out of bed and he read the list. And there were his clothes, just where it said they were. He slapped on his hat and he put on his head. He pulled off his socks and he put on his shoes. He slipped into his pants. He buckled his belt and then he threw on his shirt and jacket. Now I'll just get to breakfast right on time, he said. But then he got to the end of the list. And what was there? At the very bottom, it said, I am in bed. But Fuzzy glanced at the bed. No one was in the bed. He whipped the covers back and turned white as the sheets. No one was in this bed at all. Where's, what's the use of finding my clothes if I'm lost, he cried. Where am I? He sat down to think. I can't be far, he said. I might be hiding in the closet. The closet was empty. I could have climbed out the window. And he leaned out to look, but saw no one. Could I have fallen out of bed, said Fuzzy. He crawled onto his hands and knees under the bed, and he stumbled against a forgotten old mirror. And there in the mirror, there he was, there was Fuzzy coming up on all fours, just like it said on the list, under the bed. Fuzzy was so happy to have found himself again. No one could call me forgetful. Nope. <laughs> Smartest guy I know. That is a really funny story, Schmulek. Thanks. I really enjoyed telling that with you. That was super fun, and it reminds me of some of the lessons of Yom Kippur. Oh, like what? Yeah, like when we're saying sorry, we also have to sort of know ourselves and really understand who we are so that we can say sorry and also know all of the things that we want to get better at in the year to come. That's a really good point. Sometimes I get so angry, I kind of forget who I am. And then I have to remind myself who I really want to be, just like looking in a mirror. That's right, just like that silly old fuzzy fog top. Well, what? oh, here we go again. Whoa. Wow, that was an amazing journey. Oh my gosh, we saw so many cool things. Did you know that there's a second side to the moon? What? Yeah. Well, let us wrap up our service today. We believe that everywhere is a place that you can find God and everyone and everything we see. We believe God is in the still small voice that calls to us from deep inside ourselves. And as we end our service, we pray that God will bless us in this new year. We pray that God each day will be able to help us choose to do what's right. We pray that we'll always feel that connection and love with family and friends. And we pray that this will be a good year for us and all the world. All the world. All of it. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. May God inscribe us all for a wonderful year.